And Tennessee once again showed that they're the class of the SEC and the nation and won in, in different ways this weekend. But Auburn gave them a really close fight, and I, I think they should be commended for that just because they're a team that has shown that they can play with the best of them now. Yeah, and I mean, in the Friday game, Auburn's up 4-2 late in the game. Somehow lose the game 17-4 to as they give up 15 straight runs. Uh, they were obviously competitive in that game, uh, unlike what the score shows. And then they do take the Saturday game after Bobby Pierce hits that go-ahead three-run bomb in the ninth. And he bat flips. It goes in the direction of the Tennessee dugout, and we see a little controversy. Asher, do you want to give your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, you're, you were right with it being a little bit of a controversy with, with the antics that always seems to happen with Tennessee now. They have a great time celebrating when they're up, but they can't really take it when the roles are reversed, which is something that you should definitely take a note of. Uh, I think this is a problem from the top down, as you can see from this past weekend when Tony Vitello decided to kind of chuck the bat in the direction of the uh, celebrating Auburn players. It's not. It's just not a good look. Uh, I mean... For one, I think there is a role for uh, like a team being the villains in college baseball. I think that's good. I think it's good for the sport to have a team that everybody likes to hate or loves to hate. But you have to know where that kind of line is drawn. You can be a villain, but also be a disciplined team. And that's something that I think Tennessee still needs to develop. They're celebrating all they want, and I think that's fine. You can celebrate all you want when you when you play well, and they are. Of course they're playing well. They're probably the best team and going to go far in the, in the postseason, but you have to be able to take it when it comes your way and, and it swings your dire direction and a team is celebrating on you. You have to be able to take that on the chin, bounce back from it, and go the other direction. And They haven't shown that they're capable of doing that yet so so we'll see if that is a development throughout the last few weeks of the season if they have those kind of struggles but right now it's definitely a problem to to look at yeah and for any of our listeners or viewers that didn't see bobby pierce hits the go-ahead three-run bomb for auburn he bat flips it looks incidental the bat lands about 15 feet away from the tennessee dugout but takes a bad bounce and bounces towards the dugout, towards the entry. Vitello doesn't like it at all, tosses the bat over to the Auburn players out to celebrate, and it lands really close to them, honestly, much closer than it landed to the dugout, and certainly could have hit someone in the leg, uh, maybe gave them a bruise, a little bit of an injury. Uh, it seems like Tony Vitello has had a little bit of uh, lack of ability to keep composure lately, pushed an umpire, now he's tossing bats at opposing players, and like Asher said, it comes from the top down, and Tennessee, we love the energy they have. We love them celebrating everything. But when you're 40 and four and you get to celebrate all 40 of those wins, you also have to be able to take it when you get those four losses. You have to take it on the mouth. And I mean, you just got to eat it. I mean, if you want to celebrate like that, you also got to be able to take it. And like Asher said, I think it comes from the top down and they need to have a little more discipline on that end. Yeah, they're a team that can go the whole distance, but it is something that is not great as a whole if if those antics show up in the postseason it's not a good look you you don't really want to see that happen in in the long term of of the sport but i mean it's it's something that that can that can be a problem for the team in general as well with that kind of stuff happening you know vitello might get suspended again who knows with with things popping up here and there it's bound to happen if things keep going that direction and in a close battle that's that's a tough blow when you're when your head man is out yeah and i mean there's no doubt at this point that tennessee is the favorite to win the college world series the most they're the most talented team in baseball and no one doubts their ability to win it all but when you in, when you look in the past years all the teams that win it there's a sort of camaraderie around those teams and a a certain vibe a certain vibe and everything and with Tennessee, it's just, they're really volatile, and you could see that getting broken up, and I'm not sure how that works in the postseason. It seems to me that their energy is something that could be broken up and could be the downfall of this team, ultimately. Yeah, definitely something to keep an eye out for in the future, but 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, we would really appreciate a like and subscribe for more college baseball content.